Mother's Day is around the corner. Would you like to find out how I made these absolutely adorable glass vases, hand painted? Well, stick around and I'll show you. But this video, I am going to show you how I made this vase. Let me move these out of the way. So this is a much bigger vase. And the way I created this was by pouring um, acrylic paints over the top. And then once that had dried, I then poured a coat of clear resin over it to make it lovely and shiny. So that is that one, has one I made earlier. But for this project, I have two smaller ones. A cute little vase, another cute little vase, two slightly different shapes. And I also have a wine glass that I'm going to do. Nice big wine glass. I'm going to do the wine glass and the two vases. I'm not going to do the stem of the wine glass. I'm just going to do the bowl of it. And all of these make great gifts. So hope this one is in the frame. And actually I did video me making this one, but I filmed it from above. I basically couldn't see a darn thing that I was doing because all you could see was that. So I have to film it from the side. Right, I'm gonna choose my paint colors and then I will be back. Oh, and the other thing you have to do before you pour the paints is take some isopropyl um, alcohol and just spray the surface that you're going to be painting so that it's grease free. All right, so what I decided to do was, um, and I thought my camera was on, so I missed the beginning bit, but I'm not going to cover this glass entirely. I just want it to look like just nice drips going down the side. And then when it is finished tomorrow, when it's dry rather, I'll go around and take off the bits that I don't want. Like, I'll probably want it nice and clean around the neck. So I'll tidy that up tomorrow. Make sure it's straight on the cup. Okay, I'm gonna add some Violet. And because I'm doing three here, these make great gifts. I think it's a good idea just to stick with kind of the same color palette. Look, so I've got, how many colors have I got here? One, two, three, four. I've got six colors here, which is, you know, plenty. I want to make sure this is straight. It doesn't look straight, or does it? That's straight. Okay. And go around with some more thalo blue. And if there are places where it's not dripping and you want drips, you can just encourage the paint to flow down like that, and it will It'll keep flowing. So turn it around. Really don't think this is straight, but it is what it is. on, drip down there, and here. I think I'm going to give this to my friend for her birthday. Oh, my creaky old chair, sorry. Down here. 
and some more silver. I don't think I've The more paint you put on, the better it flows. And the colours kind of mix in with each other, which is really pretty. All right, I'm going to leave the glass dripping for now, because that'll carry on dripping, and focus on these two vases. So let's begin with cobalt blue. Oh, the other thing I was going to try, which I am going to try, I'm going to do a dirty pour on one of them. So let's do gold. I'm going to do a dirty pour on this one. And my finger's not in my glove because I can't operate my camera if it is. Ooh, gold's kind of thick, but that's okay. Better to be on the thick side rather than the thinner side because you don't want it just to completely run off. I'm not going to put any silicone in these paints. These paints are just mainly Floetrol and then a little bit of water just to get the consistency I want. So that's that. Let's do some. Halo blue, which is my favourite blue, which is actually not true. Turquoise is my favourite blue. I'm going to do a little bit of green. So I might get some yellow out of this with the blue and green. Um, so on this one, I'm going to do a dirty pour. Just let it Flow over the edge, kind of like a tree ring on top. Hope you can see this. Ooh, ooh, this is really pretty. Very, very nice. So nice. And then I think I'll use the rest of this cup on here. Waste not, want not. And I'm going to add more colours onto this one. Doopy 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 doo. Down and down and down. Ooh, I really like that. That's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna do another dirty pour. I've decided. And I think I'm going to do blues and greens. And the color you want out on top is the color you put in first. So this one is completely covered now. I'm not gonna turn it around because I don't want to spoil it, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to see that tomorrow. Oh, great. So I'm going to have some light blue, some violet, and some green. I love this how it's coming out all right another tree ring pour lots and lots of paint and if the gold completely disappears which i don't think so because i've got a tiny bit of gold in the bottom of this cup so i'm hoping that'll just add a nice little accent. Come on, gold. Come on. Up you come. Tiny bit. Here it comes. 
and it's going to run down the side. That is gorgeous. And look at these skins I'm going to get. All right. Really happy with these two, and they're both so different. What great presents. Okay, put my, I'll just put my cup here. Now, with my wine glass, what do I want to do with this? I definitely want some more dark blue. And, you know, and don't forget, acrylic paint dries fairly quickly. Encourage that to go down. Come on. Oh, this is going to look so nice. Do you think I do think I want a little bit more silver on top of the blue once you see well you'll see them tomorrow when they're dry and then they'll so they'll be matte and then what I'll do is I'll resin them and obviously can't go in a dishwasher but I will resin them and they will be absolutely gorgeous and shiny and a fabulous fabulous gift for someone all right I'm gonna stop with the wine glass and these two we will come back and see in the morning now it's the following morning and I want to give you a close-up of how the vases came out. They are all very different, even though the, color, the six colours I used were the same. I mean, some of them had more silver than gold and others more gold than silver because those were just the metallic accents. but they came out really really beautifully and so did the wine glass so that is going to just be resin from here to the lip and i'll just give you a little turn around of these and you can see how different they came out so pretty So in the video, what I did was just, I did two of them for you, but then I had so much leftover paint, I decided, because I had some more vases, that I would just uh, go ahead and do five of them. So there are my five vases and the gorgeous wine glass, and I'm going to resin just two of them for this video so for the resin layer as you can see i what i've done is put them on cups and what you want to do is not have the lip of the vase touching whatever you're standing it on because when the resin cures it's going to be stuck on there. And you will get some drips underneath like I had actually with the paint. And, and what you do is you just take your X-Acto knife and go around the lip and take off any drips. But it's much easier if your base won't stick to your vase. So my resin mixed. This is Stone Coat's Art Coat, and you don't need a lot of resin for each one. So I'm just going to pour a little bit on each. 
and let it run down the sides and then with my gloved hand I'm actually just going to rub smooth the resin over the vase because you only need a really thin coat it's not like coating um, a painting or anything like that okay and because it's so thin it all it also doesn't really need torching I always put the resin on the top and use that if I need any additional. Oh, I've got this on a Lazy Susan as well. So just go round the vase with all the resin, make sure it's completely covered. And if you do this by a window or um, by a light, it will pick up any bits you've missed. Okay, so this one now. This needs a little bit more. I will, once I've finished filming this bit for you I will finish the rest so by the time they're all dry tomorrow you'll see the results of all of them see how easy easy peasy and then it's very kind of sculptural you can feel it with your hands if all the resin has covered it. You know, in worst case, if you did miss a spot, then you could always add a second coat. But I think it looks more like blown glass if you just do one thin, thin coat. Okay. That one's definitely fully covered. Let me check this one. Um, if you do take a torch, that's fine. I mean, it will heat up the resin and make it run, but at this point, the resin's still so fluid that it is just going to be perfect. It will settle. All right. So let me just show you what I'm going to do with the vase, uh, the um, wine glass. Try and keep that one straight. So the wine glass here. I don't want resin on the stem. I just want resin around here. So all I'm gonna do is drizzle that around, which is why it's good to have something like a Lazy Susan. And And if I accidentally touch the stem while the resin's wet, I will get a cloth and wipe that off. But right now, I'm just focusing on this part. So go around. Again, do what you did to the vase. Um, because I wouldn't put this in the dishwasher. I would hand wash these, but that's the same with any painted, hand painted wine glass. So there we go. I'm going to remove my glove 
Um, when there's a dry tomorrow, you will see the finished result. Hi everybody again. So now they're finished, I want to show you how gorgeous they look. They've got their resin on, they're all dried, even the bottoms are really pretty. Here's another one. You can definitely see that the resin makes you can definitely see that the resin makes a big difference. Um, and the wine glass, oh my goodness, this just came out absolutely fabulous. You can't even see where the glass and the resin begin and end. And the other thing I'm going to quickly show you, where is it? Oh, I had some leftover resin. And as I'm going to give this to my friend for her birthday, which is today, but we're having a girly dinner tomorrow with a crowd of us, I'll give it to her tomorrow. I made a Petri coaster to go with her wine glass. And that is a gift. Isn't that cute? Anyway, so the other thing I quickly want to show you is you see these resin drops which are inevitable whenever you do resin you get these drips and I'm going to show you how to take those off so you get an exacto knife and I literally hopefully I can do this without cutting my artery on camera I go around the edge and this is the next morning so it's still kind of soft anyway it's really quick to take off I go around the outside edge first. And once all the outside drips are off, I then go around the inside just to neaten it up. And then the final thing that I do is um, take my torch and go around the edge with it. And then any little loose spiky bits will melt. I'll bring you in for a closer look so you can see some of the details. These are absolutely adorable. That's my little dog panting in the background. Baby, what are you doing? Gorgeous, and they're all so unique. So, the perfect gift for anyone, especially for Mother's Day. Thanks for watching, and check out all the links below this video for products I used, and any other information. Bye.